Hello, beautiful. Today we're watching people go from blonde to brunette. No, scratch that. Blonde to black. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hear in my head when I say the word black as it relates to hair color. And that is because it is the obviously the most intense, deepest, darkest color you can do. It is oftentimes very beautiful if it is done right. That's the catch. Otherwise, it just looks like shit and it looks cheap and it looks like you bought a box dye and did it at home yourself. It goes one way or another. Usually the latter. Oof, we are in for a treat today. There's gonna be some massive transformations. Ooh. Let's check him out. Never in my 21 years of living did I think I would be standing here right now telling you that I'm going to dye my hair black. As you can maybe tell, I put some eyeshadow on my eyebrows to see if I could do it because my cousin recommended that I dye my brows black as well as my hair black. Okay, she's starting off with some really, really bright blonde hair, obviously, and it is from roots to ends, nearly solid blonde, and it is bright. I should also say, that our hair is definitely dry and possibly very damaged. I don't know. Can only see so much through the screen. But to bring somebody from really blonde to the blackest of black hair is not easy. And it does take a lot of skill to get it perfect. It depends on the porosity of the hair. It depends on the undertones of the blonde going on. It depends on how dark you're trying to go. You have to get the fill right or else the end result doesn't look right and it looks hollow and ugly and looks like you did with a box dye. It is not just a one step and done thing. It is very difficult and takes a lot of work. And you must know color theory quite well. You can see that the purple is already kind of fading from my hair. So my hair is in this like weird blonde purple stage, which is why I actually think dyeing it black now instead of waiting is perfect because I feel like once this black starts to fade, then my hair will fade into like a purple versus a green maybe. I don't know. I don't think she explained anything that she's doing, but I'm going to try and narrate what just happened because all of a sudden I saw black color being applied to her hair, which is bad, 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 bad. Ugh. Ugh. Look what you guys make me do. We don't want to do that. She is using semi-permanent color. I think she's using the Arctic Fox, like, I don't know, this one. It's like their black color. I forget what it's called. Yeah, that's not going to work. That color is notorious for having green undertones, which, you know, definitely is not not normal for some black colors. There's all kinds of black colors. There's blue, black, there's green, black. Did I say blue, black? Definitely the choice of most. Everybody wants blue, black. It tends to be the darkest looking black on the market. But when you apply this green undertone, black tone over blonde hair and it is a semi-permanent color, you are going to get a hollow ass looking color that looks like shit and it is gonna wash out and fade out in five seconds and it is gonna look green and not black. It's gonna look really bad. She is in for a rude awakening in a second. Wow, I'm like, this is like black. That's crazy. Yeah, girl, it's black, but not for long, not until you rinse it out. So she is going around her head and applying in sections. The sections look great. Listen, I like that she's starting from the bottom, working her way up. She doesn't need to care about doing her roots or her mids or ends first because she's using semi-permanent color, which does not have developer in it. It only deposits tone, it doesn't lift the hair. That means you're not gonna suffer from having hot roots if you do your roots first. Love that. Um, the other thing I love is that she's using a brush. Honestly, I brush through most colors. I'm doing a solid color all over. It just helps distribute that color very evenly and perfectly and just better than your hands can do by themselves. So great job, Gina. We're doing it bad, but like the application is fine, but the products are completely incorrect. So I'm not sure what to tell you there. I don't know how to dye hair, so I know that I'm doing this wrong. I also know that you're supposed to put Vaseline right here so it doesn't stain. You know what? At least she knows she's doing it wrong because she's doing it very, 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 very very wrong. And she's gonna learn from her mistakes in a second. She is gonna realize that this is just completely incorrect and that she needs to redo the whole thing. So let's get to that point. Hopefully that works. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. How is it possible? All you gotta take is this conditioning-based formula that is liquidy. Put it on your scalp and just feel it and then run it down the rest of your hair. How do you miss an entire section in the back of your head? It's one of the easiest things to do. Sorry, am I making you feel bad for yourself? I don't care. Enough is enough. You know what? Some of these things cannot be made any easier and you guys just gotta do better. Help me help you help yourself. So I'm just doing what I did when I dyed my hair purple and doing what I did when I dyed my 
dyeing her pink and this kind of worked. Yes, you are correct. This would work if you were dyeing your hair pink or purple, but not black. I am using semi-permanent dye by Arctic Fox. That is her. Ah, uh, yes. Transylvania is the one. Her hair is so dry, and I don't mean dry as in like crispy. Like, I just mean that she is applying barely any color on her hair, and so it is very, very dry, and she needs to apply a lot more color to make this color actually stick and actually work. So let's do that. This is not enough. Blonde hair is very porous and dry. It tends to really suck in those color molecules, so you gotta put a lot of them on there to make sure it has enough to feed off of and get really bright and vibrant. We lost a glove and you know, you guys are very brave to color your hair black with no gloves. I gotta say, you just go to school the next day with colored hands, I guess. That would drive me crazy. I can't even handle that I have bleach stains on my fingers. I can't, no. Nope. All right, so she is finishing the color. She is working her way around the head. Not putting enough color on, we established that. The color is looking hollow already and she hasn't even rinsed it off yet. We're in for a treat here, guys. We're in for an absolute fuck disaster on top of this girl's head. Oh. Like this video if you predict that it's gonna go horribly wrong. All of you should like the video. And make sure you vote on your favorite look at the end of the video. That's very important. I love seeing your comments. I hate being the only one who has an opinion here. But ignore my opinion and try to give me your own opinion. How did we manage to get the color all over our face? The only thing you guys have to do <laughs> is apply enough color, start from the bottom and go up, and just don't apply it to your skin. Like, that's it. Just pull the hair back and apply like this. Or use a brush, but you can definitely get it on everything without applying it to your face. You know, it's just a pain in the ass to get this off your skin. As you can tell, I dyed my brows. Those are gonna be some thick, bushy brows, which I love. I'm trying to grow mine out right now. I'm gonna task, but they are growing. They are growing slow and steady. Okay, so I just came out of the shower. The dye basically didn't come into my brows, which made sense because, to be honest, I only had the dye in for maybe 10 minutes. So I will come back once my brows are done and once my hair is done. So today is the following day because I was too lazy to film yesterday. Ah, fuck. This is what I thought was gonna happen. It doesn't take a really great hairstyle to know that was gonna happen. But um, yeah, it is hollow. Her ends came out more blue toned, which is interesting. I honestly thought it would be more green. So that's good. I mean, blue is much easier to work with, I would say, than green. Because when you're doing black hair color, blue is often what we want. We want a very, very black blue or a blue black. And as you can see, my hair is black. Oh, the, the back is even worse. The back has spots of blonde everywhere going around the head. Girl, please, holy sh Baby, you gotta color that sh down. Color it down. So how is she gonna fix this is my question. So basically, I'm just gonna re-dye my roots one more time. And instead of putting it on for half an hour, I'm gonna put it on for a little longer. And I'm also gonna just kind of coat this part one more time to hopefully maybe try to get it a little darker and so that the undertones aren't so blue. Okay, so we ended up going round two with the same permanent color, which often you guys can work. You know, I have always hesitated to make a black color because of the fact that you can't go from blonde to black in one round and often people don't want to color their hair multiple times. So we haven't done it, but maybe in the near future, I will come out with one somehow, some way, and I will make it good, obviously, because I don't want to make anything that's half ass. And we have gone through about mm, 30 different formulas of black and still haven't got it right. We're trying. But doing a second coat is definitely a good idea. She might need two, she might need three, because this is going to rinse off too as she washes it. It's just difficult. Also, side note, using semi-permanent color on your eyebrows doesn't really work. Eyebrow hair is usually quite coarse or just more coarse than your hair on your head. So coloring it with semi-permanent color, it just doesn't really stick. And your eyebrow hair is so healthy, it just has nothing to grab onto. So when doing your eyebrows, you either want to use permanent color or dye permanent color. I tend to use dye permanent color. Usually it needs to mix with some kind of developer to get lasting results in your eyebrows. I don't know what I want to do with my life. And it's just stressing me out because I just I just want to be financially stable. What did I do? What did I just walk into? I'm so sorry. You're so sad. I honestly skipped around the video. So if you're crying about something that I don't know, I'm so sorry. I thought you were crying about your hair for a second. I'm thrown off. I thought she was kidding for a second. I am so sorry. I hope you feel better about whatever you're going through. And I hope it's not your hair. We're gonna find out in a second. So my hair is still a little wet. Damn, I look good. <laughs> so I really like the way it turned out. 
I've just been studying and math just doesn't make sense to me. So this time, as you can tell, it finally dyed my roots. I kept the dye in this time for almost an hour. I also re-dyed my brows one more time. And in doing so, I kind of dyed my forehead, but I washed most of it off and it'll eventually come off. Um, okay, so she turns out she was crying over her test she was gonna take. Her hair, I actually think the color came out decently nice. For doing just semi-permanent color over blonde hair, I will say, not a bad result. It definitely lacks depth, but it is definitely very black. If you're okay with not having any depth and it kind of just looking like flat, I think this is fine. I don't hate it. I do wish she gave us like a blowout moment. Like, I want to see the hair all done up, all vibed, but I feel like she can rock anything she's just vibing and crying about school and listen if school's not your thing you don't have to go to school i didn't go to college and look at me now i make videos for a living you too can can have this life get me out of the box <laughs> Ah! Next one we gotta do right though, we gotta fill that hair first. If you don't know what filling the hair means, hopefully one of these videos coming up are gonna show us. So let's watch some more. So as you probably already saw from the title of this video, I'm gonna be dyeing my hair black. So let's hope that I'm not gonna mess this up. Angie, we are all sitting here watching together, hoping you do not mess it up. But you probably will. Also make sure to stay to the end of the video for today's shout out of the week. And if you wanna enter, you can enter down below. Don't forget. So it could either go really good or really bad. I feel like it's likely this is gonna go really, really bad. My plan is to first fill my hair with um, a red color because my hair is like a level 10 blonde or something like that. So I gotta do that if I don't want green hair in a couple weeks. So she is gonna fill her hair with red. Yes! She's gonna do it. She's gonna do the good thing that we were waiting for today. And filling the hair means you're adding in the missing pigments, basically. The easiest way I can put it is when your hair is bright blonde, it has a severe lack of pigmentation. It lacks pretty much all kinds of pigment. And the hair strand basically just becomes see-through. What bleach does is it goes in the hair strand and takes all those color molecules out and they just go right out of the hair and you're left with pigmentless hair. When it is white white, it is pigmentless. She has a little bit of pigment because her hair is still kind of yellow, but she needs to fill those red undertones back into her hair. A lot of color lines have specific ways you need to fill the hair in order to get to your desired end tone, your end result. Most of the time, if you're trying to go two shades darker than what you are right now, you need to fill the hair, which she is definitely doing. She's going from like a level nine and a half to probably a level five in most color lines. So that is going to be dark. She might even be going darker than that. I don't even know what color she's going yet. Let's find out. And after I do red, I'll cover it with black. So hopefully that that is the way to go. I'm sad to see her blonde hair go. <laughs> oh, please. I think her roots with the blonde just look so bad and cool. I don't know, it's just a vibe to me. Like, I just really like the way it looks. And I'm just upset that she's gonna not have it anymore. But that's okay, change is good, change is fun. Uh. These are the two products I'm using. I tried to fill my Demi permanent hair dye because um, my hair is already bleached and I don't want any more lifting but because I'm in Korea, I don't know the translation for demi-permanent. We were doing so good. We were on a great path forward and now we're just going back and crashing. I don't like this idea at all. This is the thing, Angie. The red, sure, fine. Sometimes if you do it too red, you might end up with a really warm result that a lot of people don't want. So you gotta be careful with putting too much red in the hair when you're doing your hair from blonde to black. Second of all, permanent box dye color is going to damage the f out of your hair long term. If you're putting it over already bleached hair, it's just not a good idea. It's also likely going to lift out some of that fill color you put in, which is also not what we want. I'm gonna start in the back of everything. We are fortunately starting from the bottom and working our way up. Hey, a win is a win, baby. A win is a win. Kobe. 
Oh, got it in. Okay, sick. All right, she is filling that hair strand by strand, and it is a bloody red color. This is going to be really pretty, honestly, as red. I was gonna say really scary, but honestly, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm gonna like it more red than I'm going to like it black, which is gonna be kind of sad because I kind of wish she just kept it red. I feel like that would be the vibe, but that's not gonna happen. I rinsed out my hair, and so far, looks pretty good. I think I did a pretty good job with making sure the red is even. I mean, there, of course, there are some spots that are like slightly lighter than others, but like, it's fine. She honestly did do a pretty good job of getting this nice and even. Definitely would have liked it better if she brushed it all through. That would have made it perfectly even and just applied a little bit more color. That would have also ensure this becomes more even. But the red looks so cute, especially with the dark roots. Just keep it like this. Why do you want your hair black? You already did so much work to get it this light. No, we don't have to leave it in the dust yet. Please just give us a moment with some color. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this air dry for a bit and then blow dry it before going into black. Now on to the part where I hate the most. <sighs> she's gonna, <sighs> she's gonna apply black box color over her already pre-lightened hair. No, please, don't do it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you. Oh, please. Baby, that is not dead hair. That hair's looking healthy and luxurious and gorgeous. It's so K-pop and it's so good. Please, please. All right, we're coloring the hair with that tiny a brush. And we're going strand by strand and we're gonna do it. She's doing it black. Luckily, she is avoiding her black roots. And luckily, her hair is naturally black. So you probably won't see a difference between her root color and her end color. And the reason why I'm saying luckily she doesn't color her roots is because obviously we know the roots process faster than the ends. So you end up with hot roots sometimes if you apply it first. So her just avoiding them all together is gonna be a good idea. But hopefully the color she ends up with on her ends is not a different color than her roots or else it's gonna look really awkward and weird. There's just a lot going on and I'm a little stressed about it. Oh, so she got a good result is what you're saying. Oh, so she got a good result is what you're saying. Also, her profile picture is her blonde. So I think that she went blonde again after this. I think that the end result still looked a little bit ashy and hollow. It would look like it was lacking some depth, which was surprising since you did do everything right. I think it was just that the permanent color you were using was probably like a 25 volume. Whereas when you're tinting back hair, you really only need like a 10 volume maximum in your formula to get it to really stick onto those hair strands and go into that hair cuticle and stay there. So it likely removes some of that red color and then deposited the black tone on top, which then ended up making the color look a little bit more dull and kind of a little bit gray. You did the filling thing right, but then you kind of just counteracted the fill with the permanent color that had way too high of a developer. In it. Good job, but not quite there. I am basically planning on dyeing my hair from blonde to a more brown or like a dark brown slash black look. Just something closer to my natural hair color. Okay, so I love her look right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really do. I don't know what it is about a girl with some dark black grown out roots and some platinum blonde mids and ends. It just, it hits the right spot for me. I don't know. It just looks grunge and cool. And she's gonna go black. She's gonna have black hair. We're gonna see how she's gonna get there because we've seen a couple techniques now. None of them have quite got it right. So hopefully this is the one. I went to Sally Beauty today. Make sure to shop X Moto hair and X Moto color at Sally Beauty in stores. By the way, that is my hair color and hair care line. And if you don't know that, you are not. So I want to do like a color fill technique. You kind of get like a warm color, like coppery color, orange or like red in some cases to um, add warmth back into their hair. Because if you think about it, when you're like bleaching your hair for the first round, it turns like kind of orange depending on how much bleach you put. And the way I thought about it was like, oh, it's like putting that back into your hair because when you bleach it, it's all gone. That makes 
total sense and that is exactly what it is. Your hair has to lift through red, orange, yellow in order to get to the stage of nice pale blonde. You're kind of reversing what you did to get blonde in order to go back to dark. They recommended to use like a dark red brown color. The second color is to do this like intense brown. All right, so she's going in with the red and then doing the black on top. And then I got a volume 10 developer. I love, 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 love that she's using a 10 volume developer. That is exactly what I just said before to the other girl that was coloring her hair. She should use 10 volume. And this girl, last one of the day, she is using 10 volume. Oh, we love to see it. She's gonna get very minimal, very, 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 very minimal lift and she's going to get a lot of deposit. You must be wondering how I'm gonna protect my clothes from the hair dye and here's your answer. Oh my gosh, I didn't think this through. There's no armholes. I love this, this garment she made out of a trash bag. It's very chic. I really like it. I've definitely done that before. You know what you could do is just wear a black shirt. Huh? I know. Crazy idea. But you can just wear a black shirt because red will not stain black. I'm just grabbing it from the bowl. <laughs> it's like I'm grabbing food. Like I also have really long sideburns, so there's like a lot of hair coming out of there. And that is three for three. I'm starting at the bottom, working our way up. We are winners today. Kobe. Oh, we got it again. We got it again. Slam dunks for the day, baby. Yeah. Fun fact, the last time I did my hair myself, like me and my friend bought this. It's like kind of bleach, but like maybe a little more mild. All right, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a little bit stressed. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of flash. It's getting really hot in here. And that is because it looks dry and it looks like she's not getting every hair strand. This is going to be very important that at this step we get every single hair strand covered in that red color because we want it to be a nice perfect palette for when we then go in with the second round of color and the dark color on top. And everything just always needs to be even, okay? It's very important we get this stuff even so the end result looks precise and pretty and beautiful and you feel good about yourself. And that's the most important thing of all. She is working her way around the head. Strand by strand, meticulous putting on every single little thing of color onto her little things of hair strands. I would say it's going pretty well. Never mind, because I just looked over and it doesn't really look that red. It actually looks more brown, so I don't know why that is, but we're, I'm sure we're gonna find out in a second. And she just pulled up a strand that has a brown coating over it with strands of blonde in the middle. Oh! Make sure you separate the hair, guys. After you put that color on, just separate it and put more color on. Separate it, put more color on. Come on. Did you see what I just saw on the side? A big ass blonde spot. I just blow dried my hair a little bit. I used low heat. A very warm cherry red. It's kind of like a reddish brown, which is exactly what the box advertised. I would say it's definitely like a deeper brown red for sure. Not what I'm used to when doing fills. It's definitely going to help the end result not be too warm. So I think it might be good. So for reference, I added 0.6 ounces of the dye or the hair color and I added another 0.6 of the developer. Now it's a delicious paste. Okay, so she is using proper mixing ratios when she does this color, which I love to see. When you guys follow the instructions on how to properly mix the color, usually the color comes out better. Believe it or not, <laughs> Isn't that one crazy? Wish me luck. This is the final round. Yeah, I realize when I have too much in here, I just like get really greedy and take like a lot. I'm gonna take less hair this time and be a little more thorough with it and try to use the brush more. Okay, when you're doing 10 volume developer, I will allow you to do your roots first. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm the gatekeeper of hair. You can do whatever you want. Separate into four quadrants. This is what four quadrants looks like. If you fought me for a while, you should know what that is. Like. And then go on all the roots starting at the bottom working your way up. Get a good two inch of the root finished. Then go in and do the mids and ends. It'll just make everything so much more clean and even and nice and you will get such better coverage. And I'm just gonna go over it with my grubby hand technique. Tell me if I'm getting it. Nice. I think I did a pretty good job here. Next layer. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Why are we making this so much harder than it needs to be? Like, I'm watching her apply this color and I'm sitting here stressed out. I'm like, just put it on your 
hair strand. She's taken like weird slivers of hair and applying it to the outer edges of it and then working it together with her two fingers. Just get it on, get a good glob and just put it on. Just get it on there quick and good. Again, we're going around the head, we're getting the color on, we're ready to see the results, come on. So this is the final hair. Um, This turned out way darker than I expected. Probably shouldn't be that shocked because this is literally like pretty close to my natural hair color. It's been like probably like four days since I dyed my hair. It looks a little more natural. You can kind of see like the color underneath. Oh, did we save the best for last or what? This is some rich, beautiful, very dark brown slash nearly black color. That looks professionally done. That's beautiful. She said she wasn't expecting it to come out this dark. And the reason why that happens is because when you're going from light to dark and your hair is more porous, the hair tends to grip onto that color one or even two shades darker sometimes. So it's important to shade up when you're trying to go from blonde to brown. Again, it's a whole thing. This is very difficult to do at home and get perfect color results because it is a very technical thing to do to bring somebody from blonde to brown. But I would say for what it is, this looks great. And within 10, 20 washes, her hair will be nice and light brown like she wants it. And I don't know, I just think the color looks really rich and beautiful on her and makes her skin just glow and glisten. I love it. Oh, and make sure you guys vote for your favorite look right down below. I wanna know what your opinion was. Do you agree with me? Do you think Jack Mango's hair was the best or do the different one. Let me know. And today's Instagram shout out goes to Natalie. Natalie, your hair looks stunning. What is your question here? Let's see. I've done basically the same cut and color with my hair for 10 years and I'm horribly bored with it. Any recommendations for something to do with thin curly hair and a cool tone complexion? Natalie, 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 Natalie. You're gonna be like, Brad, I said I have a cool tone complexion. What are you talking about? But I think you should definitely go copper. Cowboy copper is gonna be your color and shoulder length bob. You did have a shoulder length bob at some point, but I I think bringing it back up to the shoulder, getting more texture and layers in there to make it more rounded, like a wolf cut or a butterfly cut, and doing a cowboy copper color would look absolutely stunning with your blue eyes and your cooler tone complexion. For some reason, copper looks great with pink undertones. I don't know why, but it does to me. It'll warm you up and give you a totally new iconic look. So good luck and let me know if you end up doing that. And if you want personalized hair advice from me at the end of my video, make sure you look down in the description box below on how to enter. All you do is follow me on Instagram, leave a comment down below on your question about your hair and include your Instagram handle. I will be choosing one of you to be included in every single video. You can also comment the same comment as many times as you want. So go crazy. No, you're not in today's video. Miss Penny Quinn, please. No. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh